We've got bottles and bags and cardboard. Oh. Mr. Higashi, why do you look so frustrated? And why is there a bunch of trash on the table? Mrs. Higashi, Earth Day is this week, and it got me thinking. Did you know the average American throws away about six pounds of trash a day? Oh my gosh. And it could easily be recycled. I was thinking about making an art project with some of this stuff. Sounds perfect. Hmm. What are we going to make? I don't know. Let's see. I think I could probably turn this bottle into an animal. I want a fish. That sounds like fun. Let's see how we do it. Let's see what we need. Let's use a bottle. And we'll need some scissors. Will you have me some scissors? Sure. Okay, so the first thing we should do, let's go ahead and take the lid off our bottle. Okay. Set that down. And let's cut the label off. I'm just gonna just tear it off or you use some scissors. Let's trim it off. Now, I'm gonna take the back side and I'm gonna flatten it. So I'm gonna put that on the table. the plastic bottle cut, I'm going to put some paint on it. I set up some acrylic paint to paint the plastic and I want to use acrylic paint because it, it can stick to the plastic really well. Okay. Um, but it's going to make it sort of see-through in parts Ooh. because of the clear plastic itself. So the fish will kind of glow maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. And what's cool about fish is they can be any color. So it doesn't matter what kind of paint you use. And the little trick is you can put your finger in the mouth. Okay. So you don't get your hand dirty. <gasps> from paint. I love that. Yeah, it bit me. <laughs> Alright, so we got some tra a tray of paint and some brushes. And let's just go ahead and I'm gonna paint my whole body. Alright. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of orange and yellow and make mine into a goldfish. I'm starting with pink. Pink is good.
destroy the person. Alright, let's let them dry for a little bit. Once the fish are dry, we can add some more details to them. I'm going to take a cardboard package and I'm going to cut some uh, fish fins out of here. Except my scissors have disappeared. I have Mrs. Higashi. Here. Perfect. So I'm just going to cut this in half. And I want two triangles for my fins. Nothing too big. So I might just take a piece of this and cut whatever shape and size I want them to be. So there's one. Cute. And I'm just going to trace it from my other one. So cut the same shape. That way my fish is symmetrical. And here you go, Mrs. Higashi. Thank you. Oh, your fish fell over. Ah. I'm gonna grab the tape. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the fins on the side where I think they'll be. And I wanna put tape on top and on bottom. Just go like this. One going down, and one going up, so then they can stick to my fishies side. So perfect. Do it up the one more. Now, if you wanted to, you could cut more cardboard pieces and make little dorsal fins or fins on the side. It's totally up to you. After I have my fins on, I'm going to paint them and add some more details to my fish. But one more thing before we move on. Some people might want to paint their eyes on, or if you have your lid still, where's my lid? You can take the lid and you can glue the lid on the side like that. And if you have an extra one, which I can easily get from a bottle, you can glue two on the sides. So I have a glue gun ready. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on it and stick it on the side of my head. Love it. And I'll do the other one. And Mrs. Gashi will paint hers. Yes. And then I'm just going to paint my fins and see how it turns out. Finally, if you have any string lying around, you can go one step further and cut a string between. Tape it on top. To make it, into a mobile. 
and love it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the projects. And don't forget to check out our next video. For more Earth-saving art. And remember, friends, Earth without art is just eh. Eh. Happy Earth Week. <laughs>